Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 37 in my second Let's Play series for Anno 1800. In the last episode, we raised our global population by about 5,000 by building out a hybrid artisan and worker district right here on Crown Farms. We also bolstered our engineering district back in Swords. Today, however, we're going to be building a lot more industry on Crown Farms to get us ready for the next big population expansion. Now, at the end of the last episode, you may remember that I was sourcing the character Brother Hilarious in the Research Institute. And I'm pleased to say that, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Not only have we got him, but some time has passed between episodes and I've managed to source another character item in the Research Institute, Sir Lewis Brindley, the Chemist. And we'll take a look at them in just a moment. But I wanted to mention here right at the top that originally I had planned to do a bit of a time lapse at the beginning of this episode, but I've decided to cut that out and just tell you what's happened between episodes. So while I was getting Sir Lewis Brindley, I think he took about 30 minutes uh, with our current 6,000 engineer workforce working away in the Research Institute. So it wasn't didn't actually take too long. And in that time, I basically relocated the old farms that used to be here over to here, as I had mentioned that I'd been wanting to do that for a while. So originally I'd said that these farms were going to have a kind of a village feel to them, some pubs and stuff like that, same with these ones but like a little bit less so, and then once we pass the fuel station it's going to become stately farms, you know, these big mechanized industrial farms. Now some people actually mentioned in the comments that state farms kind of reeks of Soviet era government, I suppose you could say. I don't really know anything about that, to be completely honest with you. I just meant giant, blocky industrial farms. It doesn't have to be owned by the government, and even if it was, it'd be Hans von Schlong. <laughs> so it's all, it's all good. Don't worry about it. But yeah, so basically that's the kind of look that I wanted to go for, these big industrialized farms. And I plan on continuing them a little bit down this way. Now, the reason that I stopped and didn't go into a time lapse with this, just because I feel like there's so much information and so many items packed into this, it would be really weird to talk over it. Also... If I time-lapse that, I don't even know what I wouldn't time-lapse in the game. <laughs> you know, something has to be just me playing it. Um, but at least we've done a little bit already so far. So we have this kind of rum distillery factory area that's not obviously not finished and looks absolutely heinous, in my opinion. Oh, actually, I think we just got another one of these, didn't we? Boom. Filling out that rum distillery area. In fact, fun fact. Um, I can only get one more before I won't be able to get any more. I won't have enough research points storage, so we'd actually need more scholars if we ever wanted to fill that final gap out. We could just put something else in there, but it would be nice to actually just fill it all out the same, or have some other sort of drink in there that would maybe make sense. I'll think about it. Anyway, I digress. So let's first of all take a look at what's happened between episodes. So the, the trade union used to be over here that housed the red pepper seeds that gave us the fertility for red peppers, because we don't actually have that native to crown farms. So I've just moved that over here. So right here, we have the trade union. It's got the red pepper seeds. An explosion in one of your Let me just tend to that really quickly. It's kind of important. <laughs> I love that it's like an explosion has happened and the music is just like the most soft piano that you'll ever hear in your life. Uh, but anyway, they're sorted. So let's get back. Right, so... In our trade union here, we have the red pepper seeds. Now, this is actually an uncommon variant of the seed item. So it means that the productivity is actually lower than it otherwise would be. And you can get ones that I think give you the base productivity and then ones that go even higher than that, which obviously we should be looking for if we want. Um, then we have Yvonne, the yo woman. She only affects potato farms and hop farms. So here we have potatoes and here we have hops. And you can see all the buildings are covered. And then we have a generalized item for all crop farms, which is chemical fertilizer, productivity 50%. And it also increases the size of the farms though. So they take up a bit more space. So at the moment we've got nice day for it. somewhere, oh, it actually tells us right here. I think before I was adding up productivity, it actually tells you right there. Um, but yeah, so 335%. Perfect productivity. Better than perfect. 335%. Then down here, this can go up even higher. I'll have to add this up. So that's 390. So 390 for the potatoes. And then 390 for the hops as well. So pretty good. I'm pretty happy with all that. I don't know. I think I've said it before. I'm not sure if there's a limit for how many... Look sharp. The governor's here. How many things the fuel station can hit? Like how many... There's so many... Think of all the tractor barns that we're hitting right now. I don't know how many it is. It's something like... Almost... I'd almost wage... Well, let me just count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, about 18, maybe... Yeah, 18? I feel like someone told me it's 20. After 20, it can't really... Because you house 20 in storage. So maybe after 20, you just don't... You can't produce them oh, fast enough? I don't know. To deliver them? Right, bobbish with the machines. Not sure if that's how it works, but... I'm just kind of curious. Like, how far can we go with that? Because what I plan on doing here, and I'll just might as well start it right now, is building out the farms further along this way and just encroaching and covering in on that mountain area completely, you know, on that cliff. That's my plan, at least. So, um, I guess we could test it and just use the same fuel station and see if it works. And if not, we could just put one back down here. There actually was one here, and I got rid of it. And the malt um, buildings used to be over here, and I've moved them over there. All right, so let's take a really quick look at the items that we have in our new sort of drinks area. In our trade union, we have Brother Hilarious, Purveyor of Monastic Mixtures. Affects schnapps distilleries and breweries, right? So schnapps and breweries. He increases productivity by 50%, reduces the workforce by 50%, and then provides rum once every three cycles. The next one over is Sir Lewis Brindley, the chemist, also known as one half of the Oxcast, like I said. And, uh... Big fan of Lewis, and I actually met him once, and I've been a big fan of him since Yogscast came to fame. I'm going to go off on a digression here. They kind of came to fame and became popular when Minecraft started blowing up, because they were one of the first people to jump in on that, and they were hilarious at it, um, Simon and Lewis. But I actually used to know them from even before then, when I was much, much younger. I used to listen to their podcast, the Yogpod. They used to play World of Warcraft predominantly, and I guess they just had a podcast at the time. And uh, it was awesome. <laughs> so that's, I feel like it's so weird seeing him in the game because it's like, oh, I know him from so, so many years ago. And a really random thing is that it wasn't his girlfriend at the time, but I hired someone who ended up becoming his girlfriend and also became part of the Oxcast. I think she's actually moved away now, so I assume they're not still together. But anyway, if anyone knows Leozor, Leozor, I hired her for a brief time at Creative Assembly. Just a little bit of random weird history. So it's just it's just weird how in my life I've had one little mini connection to him. And then I happened to meet him at ParadoxCon once before as well. Anyways, um, the next item over is the Grand Dilicent Copper Distiller. And that just affects all drinks production, providing productivity 50%. So Lewis actually only gives it to Schnapps Distillery. So Schnapps gets 100% and then rum every three cycles as well. So that amount of rum. And then all of our rum distilleries down here, let's take a look. 85 tons per minute. This island right now only consumes 13. I mean, globally, I don't even... How many would that be globally? Globally, 43 is how much we consume. So we produce well over twice as much as we'd ever need, even just on this island. Uh, not even counting everything else. So what I plan to do with that is ship it off in Docklands and bring something else in, maybe coffee or something more luxurious than that. I don't know. Just because I think it's fun. Fun just kind of trying to specialize in one big item that way. So we'll see how that works out. Now, I don't want this place to really look the way it does. Just a massive stack grid. It's got to be kind of efficient, but obviously I want to dress this and make it look a little bit nicer. Um, similar to how we've done that one. But it would be nice if we had it kind of like the old St. James's Gate where we used to have some trees and uh, things like that in there. It would look kind of nice doing that. So the reason that it's so spaced out, by the way, is because we have one trade union there and then the other one here. So they are basically touching. Um, those circles at the moment, so there's not much I can really do about that to bring it down any further without kind of making it more like uh, At an angle right if I had it somewhere down here Then you can have the buildings come a lot further down, but I want it to go kind of parallel to the tracks uh, the train tracks That's just kind of how I want to do it. So uh, There we have it. So yes, yeah, so that's pretty much everything that I did in between episodes nothing uh, nothing too crazy there in terms of I basically just did, got the items that I said I was going to get, and I haven't actually fully designed and filled this area out yet. So, in order to sustain building all of this schnapps and all of this beer and stuff, I think, I would imagine, hops and grain is probably strained pretty heavily. Yeah, so, grain is strained. 48 tons per minute is what we produce, and we consume 50. Now, I don't really have any more room for grain. Really. Hmm. Well, I say that, there's no reason that we can't just block it off somewhere else. It doesn't have to always... Yeah, that's true. We can have um, kind of more industrialized grain farms as well in the future. Yeah, so that's fine. And then let's check hops. Yeah, hops is super under uh, underprovided. So what you could do is actually just bring all that in through dock... I wonder actually, just really quickly... I've never thought about it before, but like... 
does the end result garner you more than the base requirement, if that makes sense? So if I just pop down one of these... My point, my, I mean, like, if you were to ship away gold bars, can you bring in... Yeah, you can, right? You can bring in way more gold ore. Yeah, you could, yeah. So it obviously does work that way. I'm probably not going to do that, but I just, I was just curious, like, oh, like, could you get rid of rum and bring in hops, you know? How much could you get? Oh, not actually that much. It's not really that worth it. Uh, first of all, it would have been beer anyway, but yes. So beer is a bit better, but yeah. That's interesting that beer is better than rum. Quite surprised by that. Hmm. Anyways, um, and yeah, I want to build out this area to look a bit nicer as well. So that's the kind of stuff I plan to do this episode. So I'm going to get heavily down in the weeds of pro production stuff here. So I'm just going to be, I haven't planned it out, so I'm just going to go by the seat of my pants, as they say, and figure this out. The first thing I want to do, at least, is is build out more farms, because we just know, we know we're going to need that. Um, and I'm hoping that this fuel station seems to be able to reach to here. So you could just stack them all this way, or even stack them here. Yeah, actually, stacking them here would be good and have them just trail down. Gordon the Grocer. That's in swords. All right. So I'll, I'll give that a go. Uh, because, yeah, I'm going to have, like, uh, supply warehouses and stuff along this kind of line here. So hops. Let's go with hops. We'll just copy these ones. Just slam down three. I just want to see how far does that go. Yeah, it keeps going. So that's hops, and then we'll need more potatoes as well. So we're very low on steam motors now. So I might just hop over to the old world, pick up some steam motors and some steel. I think we're lacking on both. Yeah, so let's just go grab that. Down there. Alright. Because basically down there, actually, thinking about it, um, steam motors is usually very, very low down here. Yeah, so I'm just going to pause this building because we actually have thousands of um, steam carriages, so that's fine. Now, the workforce was a little low there. I wonder what's going on. It is irrational to oh, I think I might know. Course. Maybe the rabies vaccine is about to wear off. Yeah, it's going to wear off. So the population is actually going to fall here slightly. Hmm. Well, I'll just pop that in there for now. Just improving hospitals. Not that we need to. But yeah, I'll have to get some sort of item that improves um, just households and stuff like that. Yeah, because this number is going to gradually just fall down. Because it's at 47 out of 40. So over time, this is going to keep dropping back down to 40. They don't have that rabies vaccine anymore. Uh, man, I've said it before. I like the Docklands music, but it makes me want to punch my screen. Because I'm so sick of it. It just constantly plays. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's weighted chance is like 100, 100 times more than all the other songs. And then the fact that it doesn't change, I guess, between the same type of continent. A competitor's island. Sorry. Anyways. Oh, God. I just start playing again. What can you do? I hope they fix that in the update. Because it definitely... They must know that it just plays too much. Uh, well, the good news is I can actually just work out how big these farms need to be anyway. So the first ones are already done. Say there's nowhere to take it. Oh, I'm sure they do. Right, so we can go up to 144. Oh, I gotta do it a little bit more of the old, uh, the slow way. Sorry, not the old way, the slow way. That's 144 as well. Okay. Well, at least we're cramming everything in. I guess that's good. 142. Oh, yeah, so there's no item affecting these ones. Hmm. You could have something there in future, maybe. If you wanted to get the boost out of these ones, too. Alright, cool. Alright, so that's extra hops. Is this potatoes? Oh my god, I'm going to be really annoying, guys. I'm so sorry, but I want the farms to be the same. You understand. You understand.
By the way, I know you could kind of cram a little bit more in here if you rotated it a certain way, but it's all good. It's fine. Alright, cool. So, potatoes. So, I gotta check potatoes for this one. How many, um... 108 is what we get by default. So, 108. Alright. So, that's 105. That's 109. Alright, we'll just cut that there. This one's 108. Just started from this side, I guess. It's the best way to do it. Hundred and five. One oh eight. And then this one one oh eight as well. And then obviously if we get items then we'll have to boost it even further. But it's all good for now. Alright, hundred and forty four. So these ones can just go straight up. Okay, something like that. Obviously, yeah, with some boosts, I like to think that these could maybe fill out this area. If not, maybe I could cram another one or two in on the edges or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm happy enough with it, I suppose. Let's go. What always bothers me, the way these are turned different, I don't know what you can do about that. I think maybe if you turn the base building? Kind of. I just want to know now, so I'm going to do it. That faces it out the same way, or the right way. Let's cut that there. Let's rotate that around the side, pop it back in this way. Let's just see, did that do it? I'm just kind of curious, because I've never known, like, what determines that. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. No idea. Oh, well. It's so annoying, like, why? <laughs> you know? Why? Oh, well. Alright, cool. So let's just hop back over. Sorry for, like, the delay on doing that. But anyway, let's hop back over here. Let's pick up the steel. Because we're getting a little bit low on that. Bring it to Cape Trelawney. And then I'll have to wait a little while for this to build up its um, steam steam motors. We've gotten 13 so far, so it is getting them, but it's quite slow. Engineer workforce, that, workforce that's going to continuously fall for a while. So I'm just going to have to reduce this back I think something about to there. Everyone's full, it's just these numbers are just reducing, which is fine. Okay. Alright, let's get a bit more focused. I feel like I've lost my way already. <laughs> okay, so we've got some extra farms. Maybe we do just need more and more. Maybe I'm just not doing enough. Oh my god, we need a hundred potatoes? Oh, that is a lot. <laughs> I feel like I should have prepared by getting some steam motors ready. But think of the rum. Think of the rum. Hmm. I'm just trying to think then. Can you import steam motors? Is that a thing? No. Just trying to think of the fastest way to kind of get them. Flagship ready for order. He's got 10 down here. Oh, it's annoying. Yeah, I do wish I, I, I forward planned that a bit better because if I had even more of them, I could just lay them all out and really like maximize this area a bit more. Damn. Yeah, I'm going to do it, guys. I'm so sorry, but I have to cut this one more time. An explosion in one of your factories. And I'll show you the reason why. So I did say it was going to be fine, but it's just going to be a problem for later if I don't solve it now. So I want it to be something like that, and then create a little lane of uh, roads that lead in. But this allows me to squeeze in way more buildings for the trade union. So that's why I want to do it. Hopefully at least you feel like it's a bit more efficient, so it looks a little bit better. Thinking about it, actually, we could make it even more efficient, right? Couldn't we? So. Let's just squeeze that over that way. These can then close the gap. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we're fitting fitting way more in there. We can get like two or three more in there. So that's pretty good. Um, so we'll just go with all potatoes, actually. <laughs> Let's just go with all potatoes for now. And see, can we just fill out this area like crazy? So that's... I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. All right, there we go. Because the idea of this place is like, oh, I want it to be a big giant farm. You know, I could probably just bring in this stuff with Docklands, but I feel like, isn't it? I feel like it's more fun to make it like a giant farm. That's the point of Crown Farms, I guess. Um, can't even build this though, really. I don't really have the influence for it until we hit our next milestone. Probably. All right, don't know if these are going to be covered by that. It's pretty far. One of them might be. Alright, two. And what about on that? Yeah, actually, I think we could if we just shifted this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. It's one or the other. Blip, blip, blip. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, let's take that one out then. So that means they're, they're all covered at least. Alright, so. It's hard to say. Without having the items in here, it's hard to say exactly how big these farms would go up to. But if we just take a, a generalization here, this goes up to 126. So maybe something like that. We'll just go, we'll try to build them out to 126. And then hopefully if we get like similar items, then at least we can hit that. So that's 126. There we go. And let's do the same. Oh my God, I'm a flipping idiot. <laughs> how do I, I should put the roads down first. All right, boom. I know that it roads don't need to go up all that way, but I'm okay with that. Aesthetically, I think it looks nice. A farm. All right, so 126. Boom, there you go. Oh, I can't do it that way, I'll have to just zoom out. I was gonna say, at least they're all facing the right way, but they're not. Man, I, I, I don't care how long this takes now. I want to get this right. Why does it not look this the way it should? Just turn sideways. Can I rotate? Oh my god, you can just rotate. It's as easy as that. I got it. I got it. If anyone knew that, I was screaming it. I'm so sorry, but at least I figured it out. Yes. Yes. Okay, it was all worth it. It was all worth it. A competitor's island is under siege. There we go, 126. Love it. Love it. All right, let's get rid of that. Next one over. I have to zoom in and see which way is it facing. Yeah, it's facing the right way. And then we'll see. We'll see, like, does the um, fuel station actually hit all of this? So that's 109. I've changed direction, haven't I? Oh my god, this must be the most frustrating thing to watch in the world. See, the problem is, I have rebound my rotate key to be the same button as the look around key. So when I'm looking around and building building things, I'm accidentally rotating. That's what's happening. And this is why I just need to like not press that for a second. Let me just go to the default view, and we'll just build out the way the developers intended. So how are we doing? That's sideways. It needs to be like that. Okay, cool. So that's 108. We want to go to 126. There's 126. Good lord. I have cut off this area. <laughs> Aren't you glad I didn't time lapse this? Aren't you glad? All right, one, two, six, looking good. What is wrong with me? I don't understand. <laughs> it keeps turning sideways. I just turned it though. I must have turned it the wrong way. This is, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. <laughs> That's the right way now. That's the right way. Okay, good. Jeez. No, ah, oh, look at that. It changed. Okay, maybe I just have to do it when I'm building it. 
It's some sick joke. <laughs> I can't turn it. Oh, I'll have to leave it. It it just did it without me even clicking anything, so I don't know. It like reset into that into that direction. Okay, I'm glad to see that it's not me doing it. I thought it was just me constantly like clicking the wrong thing. Damn. The aesthetics, they're ruined. But oh well. At least I know it's not entirely me. How many? Uh, how far are we? Oh my god. <laughs> like 30 minutes of the episode, basically? Jeez. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, this is what you get. <laughs> Alright. 126. There we go. Ah, oh, I keep doing that. I keep thinking that the, um, the tractor barns are enough to build off of, but they're not. You have to come out from the actual main building. This gets a little bit tricky that way. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Alright, this is 107. 126. If I, if, if I have to make changes to the modules, I will obviously do that myself <laughs> at some point. Uh, so 127. Are right, almost done finally. <clears throat> so one twenty seven as well. And then this is the last one. Uh I might just curl curl that in this way and just build it up so we cover into the mountain. Into the cliff. That's fine, that one goes way over. So that's what we got. That's what we got. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have to call and the apologize for that. But um, yeah, so maybe we can fit another couple of farms this way and just fill them out then. Uh, so they won't be hitting the trade union. Yeah, so maybe we'll do that for the hop farms because they're not needed as much, I don't think, as potatoes. Let me just check in the statistics. It's all based on the... Yeah, so 30... Wow, actually, it is actually kind of a lot. Um, hmm. I guess they all kind of need a trade union, so maybe I'll just have to leave that here. Uh, for now, let's cut this road because that's probably not going to need to be there in future. We can bring this one lengthways across. And we can say like something like that, right? Something like that. Okay, well, it's starting to look a little bit better. It just took me a really, really long time. Again, apologies for that. I'll try to maybe do this area a bit quicker. So once, yeah, so I'm basically waiting on the um, production island of Lusk to produce more and more steam motors. In fact, actually, maybe we have some here already. No, don't think I've got any anywhere else. Maybe the New World, but I don't really want to take any away from there. Uh, let's see how many we've got now, though. Almost 40, so we can build four of them in just a moment. It's pretty slow. And don't worry about steam carriages. As far as I remember, they've got just an absolute ton of them here. Like, so many. Yeah, over a thousand, so they're totally fine. We should run to World's Fair. I've kind of gotten out of the habit of doing that just because I'm sick to death of getting the same things. Penny farthings these days are much lower than they were before, but we still have enough to supply all these engineers, so it should be okay. And how are you doing? The next rum building is almost done, which is actually going to just put more stress on potatoes all the time. <laughs> Feels good, man. I won't settle until this area is covered in potatoes, okay? <laughs> Maybe we could just have some regular farms, actually, for potatoes as well. I wonder how many you'd need to have. just maximize this whole area out. So these ones don't have any coverage of a of a, um, a trade union, and if I'm not mistaken, they are out of the reach. The island oh no, they're not. An attack. They're within reach of that thing. All 
Alright, so they won't have any trade union items, but at least they'll be powered by um, tractors and steam motors and all that. So let's just attach these things. Alright, and there we go. They have a way out. Oh, actually, they don't need a way out. Just thinking about it. Whoops. Alright, cool. So that's 155 out of 172, so it obviously doesn't need to be that much. It needs to be 126. So it's 113. 113. Alright, cool, 126. Next up, this one right here. This is just gonna go to. One oh eight by default, so one oh eight. Dude, I don't even think I'm fitting all of these things in here. It's crazy the amount that we're actually able to fit all the time. One oh eight. That's one oh five. Oh, it actually knows that I can go to one oh eight. All right, and then this will be the last one. And this has to go to 108 as well. So that's where it ends. So then in here, we have we should fit even more potato farms. We have to turn them sideways and then see if we can hit them with something else. If not, um, so how many things do we need steam motor wise? We need 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100 steam motors. It's only a matter of time before we get it, I suppose. But yeah, so anyway, that's our giant potato area and then I guess up this way I'm gonna do all hops so something like that I hope at the very least this has been somewhat therapeutic in the background for people who you know uh, just watch kind of more passively because <laughs> I know it's been just pretty ridiculous <laughs> uh, there's ruins in my city Oh. When gas shuts down here, it's actually really dangerous because we don't make that much gas to supply all of our islands right now. We only just about do. So if it actually stops, we slowly erode at the gas that we have in storage. Right, so at least let's get started with whatever we've got um, construction-wise. <clears throat> So 48. God damn it, I keep catching it when there's like two to go. Let's just speed it up and see if we can get those two two more made. So that's they're made here, I think. They're actually made every 26 seconds. It's not that crazy. But the crane. I guess you have to wait for it to be delivered as well. There we go. Alright, 50. 50 is good. Might as well take a bunch of that, bring some concrete, and off we go. Boom. All right, good. All right, so that's going to be a ton of potatoes. See, the problem is I won't be able to really check statistics to really know what's going on. So I guess in the meantime, what I might as well do is just keep continuously spam building. Also, how's our villagers? I built extra villagers out here just to supply the workforce for now. And I'm just going to keep doing that so I, c I know how much roughly I need for all of these farms. They're living life. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Docklands. Let's start um, building some depots. Now it's gonna be quick and dirty. I don't know a full design for this yet. So I'm just gonna put down, that's one, two, three, four, five, 600 storage right there. So that means we can go and get rid of, that's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Very space efficient. Let's do another 600. 100, uh, 200, 300, 350. So now we've even more storage than we had earlier in way, way, way less space. 
Um, so the quartz mines and things like that, I'm probably going to just get rid of them and instead import that kind of stuff from Docklands. People mentioned that before. I think what I'll probably end up doing is importing a lot of ore into Docklands at the, like, sell rum, sell beer, and probably just import ore so that we can use then to make stuff in Lusk or something like that. Um, if we can't get the base materials maybe ourselves. So, yeah, let's, I guess let's start tracking these things. So... Potatoes and coal. Let's have a look at coal as a raw resource. Currently, we produce 28, but we consume 32. Uh, so that obviously needs to... We need something there, right? So let's <clears throat> sell some of the excess rum that we have already and see what we get for bringing in coal. So that's... From, that's it's all right. It's actually not as good as I'd hoped. Rum doesn't seem to go for very much at all. Let's just, but we do make a lot of it, so let's just go with 200. That should bring in plenty of coal. I can test all these things out later to see exactly how many, what the amounts are that we need. Uh, and then that's zinc and then quartz sand from our coffee beans. So quartz sand is really full up. I'm just going to get rid of this area. And I'm going to move the um, actual harbor over to this side. I'm just going to cut off our uh, work supply real quick. There we go. The reason I'm doing that is because most ships come in this way to trade. It's funny, actually, the Captain Tobias doesn't, so he'll probably end up going there, I bet. Um, but at least everyone else is going to hit this place and hit all the different loading bays that we'll have. There's an extra pier. So now let's just put down our own pier. And then we'll put down some loading wharfs at the back of it. So I'm just going to put these down, things down pretty much, you know, just in a big block. And then I'll reorganize it in a time lapse at some point when I can kind of figure out a design that I'm happy with. It's tempted to do that, but I actually don't need to. Anyway, so yeah, so that's two extra peers. Increased loading times, you know, everything's way better. Do we have anything in here that makes any sense to have? Loading speed, harbor activity, yep, get in there. Public moorings, defense turrets, fisheries, public moorings, turrets. Affects shipyards, don't have one actually, so don't need him either. All right. Time the rigging. So that's all we have for now. So when is he arriving next? Captain Tobias in nine minutes. So the other thing then, obviously we could just have a bunch more export offices. God, it's so ugly. All right, anyway, with all those export offices, we have loads of contracts now, so we can export and get rid of loads of excess stuff that we have. Uh, so, obviously, rum is going to be one of them. Schnapps, I suppose, I guess. Uh, looks like we got too much coffee as well. I don't even know how, how we make... Do we just make coffee here? I think we do, actually, on the um, advanced distilleries. Yeah, so we have three tons per minute that we don't actually need. Not going to sell it off, though. We probably need it for other things. Glasses we have too much of as well. Uh, so that's another thing I think we can get rid of. So just check on that. So glasses, right now we make twice as much as we actually consume. Yeah, maybe we could sell that for something. So glasses can get in there. What else could we just bring in? Even just for now, you know, just bring in potatoes just to offset it while we don't currently have it active. The thing is, we need to sell the excess um, schnapps and the excess rum. We have to give some away. Otherwise, our buildings don't operate and we don't make the rum from the extra cycles, you know? So our brewery, sorry, beer and schnapps are what we need to make sure we're selling so that our buildings, our breweries remain active and they produce rum. Because if they hit storage, they don't actually produce anything. They won't produce rum, I mean. So we have to make sure that we're always giving away some beer and some schnapps so that they're never hitting that max level. And I guess, I suppose what we could bring in is something like potatoes. We can maybe bring in the hops because we currently need it. So let's just go with, I don't know, 500 for now. It obviously seems a bit high. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, maybe... Maybe the potatoes could just come in from the actual... Why can't I see potatoes? There they are. Yeah, something like that. This might be a bit better. 
Because if there's too many, they're not going to even trade anything in. I'm trying to think, uh, what else could we get? Hmm. Oh, well, we have so many things now, we can actually bring in our own steam carriages if we wished. That's kind of cool. So we've actually maxed this out. All right. That's just, we actually just did that for the first time now. I previously couldn't get those last two things. Um, I'll just leave that for now. He's here in six minutes. So bear with me while I have a quick look in the statistics screen to just check on this city is a magnet for how much we overproduce beer and schnapps. That'll give me an idea. Oh, my God. Pot potentially. Poncho Darn and Bongwear. Potentially... 86 if we had everything operating with uh, potatoes, which is so crazy. So 86, how often does uh, the guy arrive here, I wonder? So Captain Tobias comes here every 25 minutes, it looks like, about 25. Let's round it up to 27. Let's just say 30. We'll round it up big time. So every 30 minutes he arrives. <clears throat> so if we take the things at every 30 minutes and we go calculator 86... Minus 15. What did I say? Times 30, right? So 30 is 2,130 schnapps is made in excess. <laughs> I mean, that is mental. But, um, sure. Okay. 2,130. <laughs> we, uh, I guess that's how much we make. We can't even store that. I, I hope I've done that right. It seems ludicrously... That seems way out of order. But, okay. 2,130. The next thing, then, is going to be beer, which is going to be a similar situation. So beer, we're producing 33. So 33 minus the 4 that we do actually consume here, times the time it takes him to get here is 30 minutes. 870 beer. So that's much more reasonable. So 870 beer brings us 2047. So that amount of potatoes it can't arrive unless we have a huge amount of depot space so i do actually need to turn these around really quickly because we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to stack even more out there i don't know about you i'm having a, I'm having a blast doing this <laughs> finding out like what can we just experimenting around with it you know i have fun with it anyway All right, now we're out of steel. So how much storage do we have now? 2,650, nowhere near the storage we need to be able to get those potatoes. The thing is though, I guess we could just put schnapps in some other category, right? And then find something else, anything else that we could bring in that we probably are short on. Uh, so let's have a look. Coal was the other thing, right? Wasn't it? Don't think you'll be getting any more. Maybe just more coal. We can always use coal because we take it away. So let's do that. Or any other ore, speaking of. Uh, so 2, 130, what's that divided by 2? 1065. Can we handle it? I mean, maybe. If we timed this all right and we have the room for it, maybe. Um, here's our, oh, there we go, just in time. We got more steel. We have our steam motors. That's the other thing. My numbers are about to go out of whack, aren't they? Because of the... Uh... Oh, we had our depot limit. So that's it. That's the max storage you can get. Is it 2850? Unless we just start putting down the old style storage as well, right? Because that is every single... Yeah, everything's done and complete. So that's as many depots as you can have. 25 out of 25. Hot damn. All right. Now let's ramp up our potato production. <laughs> well, there we go. Look at them all. My ancestors <laughs> working away out there. So the general idea is that we need potatoes constantly being spammed out effectively. So that the schnapps is constantly moving so that the items are producing that rum every three cycles. So that we can maybe sell rum and do something else with it. And then potatoes are also consumed in here. So these buildings, I never want to see them ever slow down and stop. This is fun. <laughs> it's fun because I know it's going to go wrong. 
that it's not done correctly, but it's all good. Well, either way, the end result is still going to be that we have loads of rum, and that was kind of the goal. <laughs> so much so that we can, like, I don't know. I'm a bit disappointed, though, like I said, with how much we actually get out of it. But we will be making a lot of beer. Beer seems to do better. Can you actually check the individual rates? Let's just check on that. It says exchange ratio 1.0. What is the game listed as for them? It's the same, actually. So they have the same exchange rate. Um, so that is 1 to 2.353. I'm just kind of curious... Um, if I list this, I just wanted to know the difference, right? So that's, yeah, so beer beer to coal is one to five, and rum to coal is one to two and a half. So it's almost twice as good have, having beer over having rum. Hmm. Maybe I should have known that before I built a giant district for it. And just built more breweries. We could just spam more breweries inside Brother Hilarious's area. I mean, I mean, everyone told me that. Everyone did tell me that in the comments. They were like, "You don't even need to make rum. You can just have the items do it for you." It's true. I had a theory. I was hoping that the rum though would just provide me a lot of stuff we can sell in Docklands. I mean, we can still do that, and we can always rank it up maybe out of some of the other smaller things that I don't really use that much of for exports, like coffee. In fact, we should not have coffee as an export anywhere really anymore because we need it now. Yeah, so it's, it's not even being traded, so that doesn't need to be in that category. Uh, glasses could maybe do with going in there. Or, yeah, like I said, just rum now. Export volume. Well, rum or beer. Yeah, probably beer, seeing as we get more for it. Sorry, you can't do that yet. So, once this hits um, a few different milestones, we could probably get rid of the pearls and put beer and... Um, rum in here and start leveling it up a bit. It could probably go higher than grain and soap as well, because obviously we don't really use that for anything either. Uh, okay. Anyway, that took a hell of a long time. And I said I was going to build this area, but um, now I'm a bit unsure. It's also placeholdery. Well, let's try to just make it look kind of nice. Um, so let's go with a couple upgrades to those buildings. A couple upgrades to those. Let's start walling these areas off. Yeah, this doesn't need to be a road here. We'll cut this road. The road needs to be here instead. Something like that. Oh, I guess thinking about it, um, this could probably actually come down this way. Yeah. Sorry about that. God, just so full of errors today. It's insane. I look forward to people hearing what people say, though. <laughs> On this one. No doubt someone's going to be like, why didn't you just... And then just completely destroy the entire basis of this entire place. <laughs> Did set to snag the market then, eh? Did set to snag the market then, eh? You're damn right I am. What? Which one did it? Schnapps? <laughs> Surprisingly. So, yeah, what just happened? Actually, whoops. Wrong button. Wrong button again. There we go. Let's see. Trade history. That's what I want to see. So 317, so way less was traded than I thought, to 373. I guess everything we had was traded, though. Beer was 812 instead of 870. Don't know why, though. Why? It's at 919 now. Surely that means we would have had enough. I'm a bit confused about that. Maybe there's a, a limit on it. Um, then the correct amount of rum, the correct amount of beans, the correct amount of glasses, etc., Actually, bringing fish in. Okay, that was all fine, I guess. Yeah, let me check the um, the harbor and see if there's some minimum thresholds being set. No, I'm a bit confused then. Why did that happen? Why didn't it take even more? If it could have. 
Oh, oh, I know why. Because it must have been full on the other side, right? It couldn't because hops is full. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. At least it makes sense. Um, yeah, I didn't even build out the hops area. God knows what that's going to be like. And speaking of, we need to get back over to get more steam motors all the time. In fact, I should just be buying them from Nate as well, considering that we're just... Oh, we already have a ship there. So yeah, you just go back to the old world. Okay, well, anyway, so this area has been built out nicely. Let's see, does that have room for... It does actually have room for more distilleries at the back. I don't know if this would look weird. Let's just see what it would look like, even just in blueprint, if it was to be something like this. Oops. You could actually um, cut that area there, cut that there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 you can't do that. Okay. Okay, and then it would have to come in like this, cut across, something like that. I mean, that would work, and it actually would cover, like, all of those little things in, in there. And then you could, if you really want to just fit them in, you could just, like, slam them in sideways as well, I suppose. Something incredibly dirty about doing it this way. I'm not too sure I like it. Now, I could also split the wall here. Right? And you could just have a bunch of these. And look, it fits. It fits almost too perfectly, some would say. Should we do that? I don't see why not. Screw it. Might as well try to make it somewhat efficient. Goes against every bone in my body. <laughs> every fiber of my being. At least it leaves the, the um, fire stations shot. pretty flexible. Well, and then fire maybe some of the out. gaps then I'll try to fill in with something nice. I don't know what we could put in though. Oh no. Speaking of distilleries and things like that, they're all catching fire there. Now to smuggle it out. Alright, anyways, uh, so let's see what we got. Ancient architecture. Show me the money. A godlike stone circle, an Augustan forum, which I think I have already. And then the godlike stone knot. Damn. Nothing new. Nothing new. Different stuff, actually, but nothing... Not exactly what I want. A bit better than normal, though. Which basket for all our eggs? So, I want to buy... We have to also try and find two items oh, here man. for the botanical Let's garden. And the ones I'm looking for are coconut palm and sea lavender. Coconut palm, sea lavender, boom, gotcha. Coconut palm. Right, I know roughly what it looks like. Hey, there's the better seeds. We'll use that. Quality grape fertility? I'm fine with that. Okay. So royal palm is basically what I'm just going to start spamming through this. I know what it looks like. It kind of looks just like that. But it's just a green background, so... Eli thinks everyone has to suffer for justice to be done. So apologies if I miss out on things that are a bit more interesting. I'm just going to grab these while they're, while they're right in front of me. And just utilize them. Another quality red part. Let's get two. You never know. Might end up needing it. What is that? Nothing. <laughs> the sea lavender appeared again. Is this it? Nope. Papyrus. Come on, game. Give me that coconut palm. I guess we could always make one as well if we really need to. I assume she has it based on the fact that she had the other one. How much is this costing? 95000 per roll. Jeez. Sea 
subalpine. I might end up needing that. All right, let's just um, activate these, and we will head back. And then we'll go deliver the seeds. Oh, right, we can do it now. Sweet. Collect that. Uh, item development. Coconut palm. There it is. Shouldn't take too long at all, right? 18 minutes. Wow, it's actually way longer than I thought. But that's not too bad. Let's just get that item, so then we can complete the set and see what it's all about. So I guess we'll see that in the next episode. Uh, so we don't have what we need. We need um, more steel. That's why I sent the other ships off. Cargo stations. Actually, before you go, might as well load up on steel that's here. And if I recall, we were actually we have plenty of brick factories over there, so it's fine. Let's uh, maybe take some concrete, and that'll be good. I just noticed as well that I'm selling, for some reason, glass windows. I don't know why I'd be doing that. Just don't do that. Cool. All right, down at Lusk, our ships should have arrived by now. No? Oh, they're already, they're almost there. Anyway, once they arrive with steel over here, we can then increase the production here even further, which is pretty crazy. It looks like all these buildings are active though. That's kind of what I want to see. We're not low on potatoes we're not low on malt oh yeah that's the other thing i didn't even check how's the malt going malt demand is really high so the demand we're going to be putting on grain is going to go even higher if we build a bunch more malt buildings which we're going to right now it's just a quick and dirty area until we get it sorted later on your ship has returned from its voyage. But that's going to bring... Wow, that doesn't even do it. That's malt up to 36. And that is powered. Jeez. And what do you need? You just We're just out of steel. Straight up. Alright, a hell of an episode. I know it was, it was like about 30 minutes of me spent just building farms. It looks so cool at night though. You can see all the little tractors and their little... um. Lights out. You know what? It'd be fun. People often ask me to walk around the cities and stuff. We should at least get on a tractor. Seeing as we spent so long building this place. There we go. Now we're bombing ahead. Your ship has returned out of the way! Out of the way! <laughs> That's cool. Look at all the stack, the chimney stacks in the distance. Oh my god, you can see all the tires. I'm just ruining the entire farm here. All the potatoes. Uh, but yeah, let's go for a little walk around this part of the town. Because we actually didn't really have a look at it for that long. Just very quickly. Town hall isn't uh, isn't done yet. Newspapers, little market. <clears throat> at the back of some houses. It's kind of a new, new place for me to walk around. Because I don't even remember exactly where everything is all the time. So this is obviously a school. It's closed at night time. Guy's on his tricycle. We can see the billboard. I remember putting that down and talking about you want to be able to see it while you're crossing the bridge. That works well. And then coming up on the Variety Theater and the more of the town square. Our big market should be around the corner from the uh, church actually here. Yeah, this place looks lovely. There we go. There's our big wraparound market. In the market itself. So the market itself during the day is actually kind of, or during the night is actually kind of closed. So this place would be a bit more popping off if it was evening. Or sorry, if it was the morning. Lots of space to walk around outside the uh, church as well. Looks good. We've got yet another school. I would imagine that they actually do, probably didn't even need that one. And if I recall correctly, this one has a little trail around the back to get into the back of it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hello. Headmaster going home early, maybe. 
Or going home late. God, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> Everything's like inverted. <laughs> what am I in? Tenet? Oh, I could just about see the engineer district. Should we go for a walk down there? Might as well. If you don't like the walks, the episode is pretty much over for you. <laughs> Let's find a way out. I'll find a little bridge that gives us a crossing. There we go. Someone mentioned something a few comments ago, a few episodes ago, about how a there's 11 bridges. Is under siege. How there's like 11 bridges, and apparently there's some famous islander movie or something that has 11 bridges, and they were asking if I did that on purpose. I didn't. It was just pure coincidence. Gotta be honest, some of these houses look like uh, they're kind of facing the wrong way or something coming in this way. Oh yeah, I never, I never did finish off this area, actually. That might be why. Yeah, there's a bit of a, a messed up bit there. So, little fire station, and then we should have the police station, is it? Yeah, police station and town hall. So this area is just grass that needs something there. But after that, and other, other than that, everything else is done. But I do remember that now, that it wasn't quite done. So a little town hall here. Buffing our engineers, delegating laws and rules. And decrees. You can hear the variety theater as we come up to it. The bank looks awesome. I love the underlighting on it. it looks so cool. Security guard making sure no one's uh, sneaking in there at night. Wow, this place is popping off during the night. The uh, variety theater here. And we have our city lights around it as well to brighten it up. Looks good. And then we got some uh, market stalls or whatever, some restaurants and things, places to eat. Actually, looks really, really good up close. I need more time to restructure my thesis. Oh, you can't walk down the middle of the Topiary Avenue. What the hell, man? And then we have the lovely bear for. Because I often think, I, well, bear was just good because it's like a really big thing. We already used the man in swords. But I like to think as well, like Cape Trelawney is always a bit more nature focused. You know, the sea and the wildlife. And we went on that walk where Benty talked about how she goes hiking and stuff. So having the bear there kind of makes sense. And that's pretty much it. Off we would go. Out of here. Alright, so a bit of a weird episode, guys, but I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. Um, I certainly just had fun <laughs> just building out little farms and seeing what we get, see how many how many things we can get off this place. In terms of all those, the productivity is just sky high, I feel. Not optimal, but sky high <laughs> for those items. Do we need those items? Not really, or those goods, but I had fun doing it. Um, so yeah, in the next episode, I'm just going to be continuing to build this area out, make it look a little bit prettier. Uh, and then filling out more farms. Well, I'll probably let time place, you know, for a little while. So I build up some of those steam motors and I can come out and just build all of this a bit quicker and then actually see what the situation is. Uh, I'll be interested to know, again, what the deal is with the fuel station and if it's being delivered everywhere on time and if it's lasting. Because surely if it's 15 seconds and every one of these holds fuel for five minutes, surely that's... What's that? 60 divided uh, multiplied by 5. Divided by 15. Yeah, it's 20. You can only have 20 buildings, right? Before the time wouldn't make sense anymore. So I guess I'll have to count them up and see where we need another one. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. Really weird one. Sorry that was weird. I know I'm being very apologetic. I'm very self-critical. <laughs> I think it was. I don't like to think I was wasting anyone's time when I'm just staring at modules. I feel a bit bad. But uh, thank you guys all the same for, for watching. Thanks for the support. Looking forward to tourism. Still not out yet, obviously. Hopefully get my hands on it in the next week or two. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.
Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.